and welcome back to Going Solo here on Music Free Gaming or maybe Music Free Gaming here on YouTube or any random combination of things. And apparently I got thrown off. Sorry, my cat started meowing just as I hit the button to uh, start talking to all of you lovely people and really just threw me off because that's what cats do. Cats are just like that. <laughs> anyway, welcome, welcome. Glad you're all here. It's a beautiful day in YouTube land. And uh, I hope that uh, you're having a beautiful day too. So let's... Uh, oh, hang on, I had all sorts of weird pop-ups happening. Okay, thank you. Um. Great. All right, let's go ahead and jump over into the gameplay. And just like the stream on Tuesday, I'm not going to be doing any um, special recording for YouTube. So it's not to say I won't drop a grab a clips or maybe record something, but for the most part, this is not a YouTube uh, specific video type thing. It's just happy stream time as I uh, finally get around to getting this, hopefully getting this whole tunnel finished. So that's going to be the fun and excitement. So we'll check that out. Oh, also, yeah, I got to double check something here and just see if um, hopefully, yes, yes, looks like closed captions may actually be working, perhaps. Ha ha! That makes me happy. Okay. Sorry, I was, it's one of those things I hadn't really tested yet over on YouTube. Uh, I've, I've used, oops, I uh, hit the right buttons. Wow, I am really bad at this, uh, controlling my person. Um, no, it was one of those things I had, uh, used over on Twitch. It was, uh, live automatic captions and... I hadn't tested them over here on YouTube, so it's awesome to see that they work. And, uh, you know, so that's great. Um, will they uh, continue to work? I certainly hope so. I certainly hope so. Of course, uh, did I just turn them off? Okay, there they are. <laughs> yes, I, I did turn them off on my overlay, my... Uh, Preview. Why do you ask? All right. So I think, well, for now, I'm kind of bookmarking this. I'm toying with the idea of continuing the tunnel here in the middle, but I need to do some other things first. So let's meander over here with uh, all of this fun. Now, this is all sticking out being all, you know, ugly. <laughs> That's, I wish I had a better word for it, but I don't. It just doesn't look good. All right, so definitely want to bring some dirt. <clears throat> Ow. Ow, that, that tingled uh, a little bit. Just, just a touch uh, more than I ever wanted to tingle again. All right, that's fine tingliness aside let's get some uh, probably gonna need to get more dirt now that I think about it fortunately I th I'm fairly certain I have a lot of it so should be okay just not on me I mean I've got some coarse dirt but that's not entirely the same. Wow. So much dirt. Okay. There we go. See? Plenty of dirt. Even some podzel, which could be extra special. All right. Let us get all of this stuff. Now... I need to figure out what I want to do for a entrance to this. That's not just that bare ugliness. So we'll 
we'll get there too. But for now, let's go ahead and just bring this uh, down. I do need to cover up the frog lights because while frog lights are lovely, it does kind of mess with the vibe over here just a little bit. Okay, so let's just just gonna go ahead and get this down here a little bit. Of course, dirt action happening. And let's see. Some, bring some regular dirt up this way. Now, all right. And I'll need to do something here, too. So, of course, having just put that in there, I may want to do something else. But for now, we're doing all right. Hey, Slimer! It has been a while hope you're doing well as well yep it is great to be back on the use of tubes or the tubes of you or whatever <laughs> yeah yeah things are going mostly okay had a lot of weird family stuff going on but that's been going on for about a year so it's hard to say that it's you know, new and totally different, but you know. All right, I need to figure out what to do for the front of this. And I think, because I am cutting into this hillside here a little bit. And I suppose I can carve that back some. But uh, let's see here. Oh, yep, I do have a shovel. Let's see. Um, I think, oh, hang on. I think I've got a bunch of this, uh, oh, mossy flavored goodness over here. Let's see, let's see. Well, moss, but I thought I had some, ah, yes. Mossy stone bricks. And do I have, doesn't look like it. So let's go ahead and just turn this all into bricks. Okay. Um, I have not. I've had a, a number of different worlds. Um, the nerdy server that I was playing on mostly before uh, is still up. I just haven't really logged into it for a while. I got, I got sort of burnt out on that world. Um, I did a series of hardcore uh, worlds for a while, but got tired of starting over. You know, that's how it goes. So now I'm in, this is my second solo world since I got uh, since I switched over so this is kind of where I'm sitting at the moment on the top of a tree so here let's free cam up so my iron farm is over there this is spawn right over there and I've got uh, university which I still need to put some uh, glass in that but this is my main base now Got some farms and stuff in there, and I just built, um, where am I? Oh yeah, I'm over here now. Aha! Uh, I just built in here, this is uh, where I'm keeping stonemasons and my moss and bone meal farm. So, I've got some plans for that. Which hopefully I'll be able to get into a little bit today, uh, but that's going to be the topic for the video that I recorded this weekend, I think. So, so yeah, all that goodness. All right, so I think. Let's grab some regular brick here, too. And I need to cover up the black stone, right, and the scaffolding. Oh, come on. Place the block. Though I could take a little bit of advantage of the fact that there is blackstone there and maybe drop a little bit of fun and excitement in. Also seems to be getting dark, <clears throat> which is annoying because in my infinite wisdom, I did not bring a bed over here. One in my toolbox, I don't. All right, well, let's hop through here with my most secure of doors. 
kick. You know, monster. There's a there's a zombie down there that likes to eat my face, and so apparently, I have to be sure I break eye contact before I can sleep. Ha! Huh. That's right. He's a total face eater in there. Let's uh, take this with us. Not that I'm going to need, uh, well, probably I'm not going to need frog lights, but we shall see. I, 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 at least I've got enough of them for now. Just throw that down and let's see what's happening here. Okie dokie, so let's see. So we've got... Got a little bit of something happening up there. Now, I do like that a little bit. I think I want to... Oh, actually, let's take some... Some of these uh, ochre frog lights. And I think I want to... Let's see, do I have scaffolding? I do. Not a lot, because I just used it all to build the ceiling and the tunnels. But we'll just pop right up in here. All right. I think that's going to be good. Now I've got plenty of light because I've got all the frog lights under the carpet there. But I think that's going to be nice as I bring this around. So let's see. I could throw some anvils and stuff around here too. But let's do something... Really basic, okay? So let's grab some stairs here. All right, I should get some slabs too, but we'll go with it. All right, so what I wanna do, I think, is let's get some stairs. Let's see. Kind of thinking, yeah, see, it's going to be super basic if I do it this way. But I think I can do something fun with this. So let's hop up here. What if I were to take a, uh, well, maybe some dirt. Okay. What if I were to take an anvil? Place it sideways right here like that. Okay. Close, but no. I'm going to go ahead and just put it like that. Yeah. Okay. That's a little better. And we'll go ahead and cover that with dirt and something else as the rest of this hill comes down. Kind of, sort of like that. All right, and Vils go like that and that. All right, now do I really moss? I'm not going to need moss. Why would I need moss? No, no. There we go. Yep, no, not at all a reason to have moss because. It's okay. We got it. We got it. Everything is fine. All right. So what I want to do here is I'm going to take some moss here in the corners, I think. And let's add, add a stair there over the anvil. And I think I want to take stair up this way and that way oh you know what that's covering up all of the green I don't want to do that however dropping one like that hmm. okay I'm gonna say no to that but 
got some possibilities here. So, ah, cheese monkeys. All right. All right. <laughs> Speaking of cheese monkeys, I'm actually wearing my ah cheese monkeys t-shirt, which uh, is available over in the store at store.musicfreegaming.com. That and all sorts of other Cheese Monkeys merch. So, those of you who are into the cheese and the monkeys, we got you covered. Okay. Just get myself wedged under there in some happy fashion. Okay. So, let's see now. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's fun. Got that one. I also have um, also have uh, shirts over there that have um, say that's a problem for future me. Actually, have it's too hot to wear it right now, but uh oh, never mind. Got my uh, that's a problem for future me uh, hoodie here. It's uh. There we go. And it's a really comfortable and warm hoodie, but it's also hot in my house right now. So, so we'll. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna wear that, <laughs> but it's uh, that one's nice and warm and toasty. All right. So right. So this was gonna go like that. I need to figure out a little bit of fun up here, but let's try spruce let's try some dark oak logs here now all right so we'll just run some dark oak logs this way and i think i'm going to want a little bit of something here in front of the uh, in front of the moss i don't know quite what yet but Definitely a little bit of something. I'm also not entirely sure. Oops. Okay. A little far. A little far. No. No, I thought the wood might be a good take on that, but uh, no. All right. Well, that's fine. Um... And I could throw some stairs here, but I want something a little bit more. I don't know. Something. More something. It's all sorts of something, and this should be a little bit more of it. Uh, let's grab some regular brick here just to break that up. All right, and now maybe take the iron bars just run some iron bars across the top here right um, okay so the I guess the dirt stays um, which is okay I mean I, I don't particularly like it grabbing hold, hold of the hill but it doesn't change the look there very much so so that's fine. So let's go ahead and throw this up there and let's grab some mossy up here and a little bit more of the log. All right. Oh, even better. Let's, uh, let's take this out and let's take some moss here like that. Okay, and I still might do a little bit of something down here with the with that moss. Now, let's see if I take this out. Right, so I've got blackstone in there. Now I could just throw some iron bars in there, but I don't like quite how they react to stuff. 
I might have to move this, uh, redo the stair, actually. Which is okay. I mean, I could do that. Hmm. So, I like the green, though. I'm half tempted to replace that with frog lights, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Because, right, I've got the green, but I've, oh, hey, I'm missing an anvil. Okay, <laughs> there it is. Because I, I could take the ochre frog lights back behind there. I'm actually sort of thinking, oops, thinking that uh, the green might be good. Yeah, you use the green frog lights instead of the ochre ones. I don't know why I'm coming in here instead of going to the other bed that's close, but, you know, there's something. <laughs> yep, this room's a little bright, but I kind of, I like the way the green works, so. And I only walked back into that room because I forgot how to get out of the castle. It happens, you know. Up. Okay. It's okay. I'll figure it out someday. I won't be trapped in here forever. No, you can't stop me. Alright, um, I'm just gonna play with that those, uh, this moss up here. All right, so if I were to come in here with, first off, the carrots. All right, let's grab the ochre frog lights. Just because that kind of matches what's, what's happening in the tunnel, right? And it's not a bad look, okay? It looks fine. Um... Oh, I don't have any on me. Let's go grab some, but let's try it with the uh, green ones. Right, because I've got a lot of frog lights. Let's try it with the uh, verdant ones and see what this looks like. It might look a little bit better. The ochre ones are nice in the tunnel because I've got lots of green doing other stuff, but and so it's a nice break in color, but here, yeah, I think I like that better. I think I like that better. So we'll go with the uh, verdant frog lights. And I just looking at the top of this, I think I need to come in with uh, some slab action. All right, so let's grab some. Mossy slabs and some unmossy slabs. Because, you know, it's mossy and unmossy. It's not like regular and mossy or anything like that. That's, that would make too much sense. So we're going to go with mossy and unmossy. Um, yeah, totally, totally how this is supposed to work. All right, so let's grab some slabs here. Of various types, but I think I'm gonna sort of mix and match here just a touch. Okay. Okay, so let's and then what let's see what two if I do it that way, one, two, and then that way. Yeah, okay, sure. I still need to fix whatever is happening here in those spots, but the top? Top is looking pretty okay. I can live with that. So let's figure out what's going to happen down here. Now what I could do is just slap a little bit of... Uh, just a little bit of slabs. Or, yeah. 
I guess, singular slab. And let's, um, let's pull a couple of these out for Mossy. Okay. There we go. All right. I may want to replace those other frog lights in there. Those ones at the anvils, but I think for the most part, this is not a bad look. Um, am I out of, wow. I am in fact out of inventory space. Lovely. Um, okay. No, I'm not. I mean, I still am, but at least it's a different way of being out. Um, let's do, let's take some slabs and actually, I think I'm not going to leave that one there, but um, maybe I will. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's even better. Okay. Nice. And there's some room right in there. So if I wanted to do, I could do end rods right in there if I wanted. Ooh, do I still have, I do, I still have levers. I don't have any more end rods on me. Because again, why would I need to keep them on me? I'm done building with them. Totally that's how that works. Or I've used them all, and I can see that happening too. Okay. Um, yes, sir. Alton has frog lights. No, it has frog lights. I need base rods. And end rods, which are going to require some other stuff. Okay. All right, let's head down to the storage room and pick up some end rods. Because obviously I am out and wasn't even thinking about having some. So, we have to make this room a project here soon. All right, um, end rods. Be over here. Yeah, perfect. Yep, this is my storage room nice uh auto sorter going on around here shulker unloader all that fun honey farm stone and basalt generators happening there so that's awesome and uh unsorted you know random storage and a really really lousy flower farm so doing okay so far Also, this is uh, my this is my trash, and behind this wall is an infinite water source. So, also, I'm going to be building a new super smelter, and the access or the item drop off is going to be right in this gap here. So, that'll be fun when the time comes, which for everything goes right, that time is going to come this weekend. Alright, so let's grab these uh, torch, or these levers and, wow. Congratulations to me. Um, this whole, yes, I know how to scaffold. Yes, hello, fellow scaffolds. Grab an end rod. And again, this would be a little bit nicer if um, oops, that was not an end rod. That was, in fact, a lever. So you can tell them from the part by the distinctive lever shape that uh, is there. Okay. Uh, scaffolding is great, but it's... Yeah, sometimes I'd rather have end rods that didn't um, didn't have the end on them, right? That little dealy bob there, but it's okay. It's all right. 
I like that. I like having that fill in the space. It really ties in, too, with uh, what's happening in the rest of the tunnel. All right, because the rest of the tunnel, I've got these little, I don't know, handle dealy bobs, whatever you want to call them. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that will work. Except, I think, let's grab... Stairs. Are these the only one, uh, ones I have? Looks like it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's better. That is much better. Okay, so let's go ahead and take some of this dirt. I have to cover up some of this uh, mess up here, but... Okay, so we'll just grab a little bit. Oops. Ah, oh, terraforming is not and probably never will be my best uh, best subject here, but that's okay. We'll get this get this in place. Really, what I should do is uh, maybe bring a little pod sold over. I think that's all right. That's that's not looking too bad. I mean, I've got the natural stone here, which is a little bit funky, but I think that'll work. All right. Nice. So grab the carrot. We'll go sleep, and then we'll see what else is going on. These are going to be awesome. Also, speaking of awesome. Ow. Okay, well, it's not like I was using that face to begin with. All right. All righty, all righty. All right, so this is... I think that was... Yeah, so I think that's going to do it over here. So it does kind of look like a a chibi smile going on here, but okay, that, that's fine. That's fine. We'll be totally fine. Okay, clear some of this out. All right. So now, what I want to do is. Mossy, also some stairs. Right. And basically, I'm just going to copy what I what I did before on this side. So I'm going to have to craft up another anvil or two as well. But it's okay. It's okay. Well, not what I wanted to put there, but I just don't feel like digging it out again. So, blah. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna leave it because you know all right so the crossbar i've got the stair which uh, kind of makes some sense all right so that stair goes there and oh right and the slabs go under which is perfect so i'll just walk on those once I remember where they go. Okay, right across the top, even with that, that steer right there. Wonderful. I do have some plain ones here. There they are. Okay. Cool, so now let's grab the uh, stairs because inventory management is so Awesome, and I'm so good at it. All right, all right, all right, all right. I got this. Totally got this. I am. Well, I was gonna say, good, but actually, you know, that that sort of remains to be seen. But 
I at least uh, am capable of occasionally placing blocks in the right place. Not always, mind you, but occasionally. Okay, so these stairs are going to go like that. Okay, trees in the way, but that's fine. Um, I really should just take should have taken a snapshot here, but that's fine. Okay, so the ochre frog lights go here. Okay. Wow. My uh, mouse skills are on point today. All right. Yeah. So they. Yeah, right behind the stairs. Okay, cool. So those go there. And then I had some uh, blocks happening like this. Leaving that open, right? Right to right. Yeah, so the black stone under the stair. So I've got three blocks and a slab. Right. Yeah, I can totally do this. It's absolutely fine. All right, and now grab the anvil. Sadly, I only have one, so let's... Okay, we do have iron blocks, though, so... What is it, four ingots for an anvil? So this should be, this should be fine. I have plenty of ingots. And I'm probably, I guess I'm wrong, anvil. Oh, I'm not wrong. Cool. It's so rare, I, I have to treasure it when it happens, but no, I am in fact absolutely correct. So that's a good thing. Take a, take a little joy in that. Okay, so let's get the, wow. All right, I'll just jump up there. I was gonna try to reach and do something all fancy and like, but yeah, that's not happening. So, all right, so it's a stair, upside down stair above the anvil, the wall goes up. Okay. Cool. All right. So this goes like that. And yes, some regular brick would be awesome. All right. So this is going to go up a little bit, but I think the block directly over it is dark oak, right? Is that how that worked? I think. Yes. Dark oak, iron bars, dark oak. Sweet. Which is awesome because I have exactly zero dark oak in my inventory. So, sweet. Fortunately, there's this convenient tree right here. And it's not really using its its wood right now. I mean, the axe may forget, and the but the tree can't remember if it doesn't exist anymore. So we'll just uh, we'll just chop that sucker down because it'll be fine. It, it's in the way of the road anyway. So yeah, totally fine. Okay. Uh. I do want to drop off some inventory-ish stuff, but they can wait. Wow, I am so bad jumping. There we go. Name three things you're bad at. Uh, jumping and uh, standing on things without falling down. Um, and also placing blocks in the right place with the right blocks and stuff because yeah that's also something i'm bad at but maybe i'll get better at that one of these days right one can only hope 
All right, so let's get the iron bars in here. There we go. All right, so we'll run that across that way. And let's see, I went with the verdant frog lights here. Awesome. All right, so that's going to go there like that. Now, I believe on the other side, the hill just sort of actually came down and around that. So that's fine and dandy. Work with that. Now that's... Wow, that's wrong is what that is. That is not what goes there at all. No, what goes there is more uh, dark oak. And then it's slab action. There we go. Okay. Might have to cut that tree down, but I think we're okay. Maybe. All right. So... One, two, that should be one of those. And one, two. Oh, well, darn, if that wasn't convenient. I mean, it's kind of nice when things just sort of work out the way I want them to. All right. Yeah, okay, so that's going to go right around that way. Oh, honestly, this is actually going to have to come up higher, even. And that's fine. I dig up that puzzle, but honestly, I'm too lazy. I'll just uh, plant another giant spruce tree up here and take care of it that way. Just, We'll just let the puzzle flow. It's kind of like spice, but without turning your eyes a bright shade of blue, you know? Okay, so that's going to sort of come down like this. Okay, that'll all turn a lovely shade of grass. And then this over here, I'm going to take out, let's take that out. And I'm going to sort of carve this hill back just a touch. I think I need to go a lot, but definitely carve it back a little. Um, yeah, grab all the happy saplings. I still have no clue what I want to do for a door for this building. I mean, it should be something fun, right? But, you know, it's a... Uh, I was tempted by a redstone door, but that's going to take up a lot of room here. Because you'd have the blocks here. The pistons would have to go here. Actually, it may not take up as much room as I thought. All right. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll deal with that in a minute. Again, problems for future me. All right. All right, we're just going to pretend like I uh, know how to walk on scaffolding. And we'll, uh, yep, there, there, with our uh, happy little. Wow. That was uh, quite the jump there. Okay. All right. Go ahead and pick all that stuff up. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Let's go ahead and knock that back a little bit. Get a little bit more grassiness happening over there. I could get in with a little bit of moss around the outside, but that's okay. I'm not the frog queen with her epic uh, hatred of dirt, so... We can, we can make that work. 
So, okay. All right, let's make that a little bit less. Just a little bit less. <laughs> it was a little, a little boxy, I think. I mean, it's Minecraft. Everything's a little boxy, but that's now it's a little bit less so. Okay, so we're just gonna slide some of this over this way, I think. All right, let's bring this hillside down this way just a touch. I think that'll be fine. Yeah, and having the, this tree kind of grow over that is gonna be good. Did I get everything up top that I needed to do? Yeah, I think so. Let's, well, maybe not. Let's swing around up this way. Ah, and get with the sneezy sneezy. All right. Sometimes you just have to sneeze. And that's, just, that's just how it goes. All right. Yeah, I may end up cutting that tree down, but for now, it's fine. Yeah, for now, it's... Okay. Yeah, I mean... Oops. One of these buttons. There we go. I recently had my mouse buttons remapped, and they uh, aren't always what I want them to be. <laughs> Or they don't aren't quite where I expect them to be, right? Okay, I'm gonna go let's get a screenshot of the other side as well, because I think I think this is going to work. Yeah. Yep, so there we go. There we go. We get this. And I think I'm gonna come up with free cam here just a little bit to uh I should probably clean out all my garbage in the back there but ah oh, still need to figure out what's happening here I think actually let's freak let's freak him up here for a minute so I've got this hill and it seems reasonable that I would build something on top of this hill Right? I'm not entirely sure what, but it definitely feels like something could go up there. It's darkness happening there, but, right, because I, I have my uh, stonemasons happening over here. We're building a little bit of uh, something over here. I'm not sure what. I've been thinking of building like a Hall of Fame or something. Or a, a subscriber house, which would be uh, its own special breed of fun. You know, for everyone who's who's uh, a member over on Kofi at ko-fi.com slash music for gaming. Uh, definitely check that out. But yeah, so what I could do. Oh, that would be perfect. I would, actually, this would be perfect. So let's um, let's go ahead and fill this these uh, sides in. Okay, that uh, little zombie kid is gonna be obnoxious, but he can be obnoxious over somewhere else. All right, so that's gonna go there. We take this out. We get ourselves some. Not there. All right, so that's awesome. All right. And yeah, Put those in place. You know, I misplaced that, that stair in that top corner on a bunch of those different things. Um, am I able to put signs on the ground? Um, not flat. I mean, obviously, I can put a sign in 
that stands on its leg. I don't have any signs made up at the moment. Uh, but uh, otherwise, okay, so let's keep going on my. Oh, let's get the uh, logs in place here, real quick. All right, and then you go right there. And somewhere here, I've got more moss because I have a lot of moss. Uh, a subscriber walk of fame, absolutely. I was actually, so one of the things I'm toying with is setting up a second membership tier. So right now I've got one, I've got the cheese monkey level where it's four bucks a month. And uh, you know, you get exclusive channels in Discord, you get, um, wow, what am I mess missing here? Um, yeah, so you get exclusive access channels in Discord, you get access to behind the scenes uh, blog posts and stuff. And I was thinking what I might do is, aside putting their names up on a walk of fame of some sort, of creating a that's a problem for future me tier that would be a bit more expensive and okay. but you'd get like a, a statue or something in the in the hall of fame right so something like that would be would be all sorts of fun so that's not goes okay take this out man i love frog lights they're such an awesome block they're even better when you have enough of them but all right so go and what am i missing oh yes the Levers. Okay, get these in place. That's not where that goes. Nope, not even a little bit. I mean, maybe a little bit, but no, not really even a little bit. Okay, so those go there like that. All right, now. What I want to do is move some of this stuff. And let's get some honey. And some water buckets and some other fun stuff. And I think what I'm gonna do is just go right up through there. It's gonna be great. All right, so let's go get some honey blocks. But yeah, the the but yeah, putting the signs down to read them would be awesome, but yeah, it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Signs have to be vertical. All right. So, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, honey. I have oh yep nope that's not honey that's mushrooms I mean it's like totally the same thing right mushrooms and honey yeah not so much I do happen to have though a, a few honey blocks over here so so we'll just uh I turn the my honey farm off because honestly I've got plenty of honey blocks for the moment. So if I start getting low again I'll I'll let the bees loose and it'll be good. But for now for now 
get the those in. I think if I don't have a honey bucket, I or a water bucket, I can craft one real quick. Actually, I probably have all sorts of uh, ice if I look hard enough. Also, I'm going to have to change out this block, which is fine. I can do that in a, in a little bit. First things first, let's get some dirt. All right. And now this is going to have to come out. And do I, well, I've got end rods there. That's fine. That, that end rod will live there. Okay, right. That all up. Cool. All right. So the plan here. Actually, I should not put that there. Because that's going to have to be. Um, this is going to have to be a water source block. Okay. So we'll just uh, throw some end rods back there. Right. So yeah, so this is going to have to be water source blocks. Um, that doesn't look happy. No, no, not happy at all. Small, but definitely not happy. Okay. Let's go ahead and just hop up here. We'll, uh, throw that in there. All right, so this should be well enough lit. Um, all right, let's see. We've got all sorts of darkness happening down here. Do I actually have torches? I don't. Okay, cool. Wow. Um, yeah, there's, uh, snow and stuff down here. Okay. Wow. I don't know that I want to deal with any of that. I mean, sure, I'm only in half a suit of armor. That should be fine, right? Absolutely. In the meantime, let's get up here with this guy in. All right. Ups a daisy. Okay. There we go. All right, well, that was not quite how I wanted that to go, but all right. So, <laughs> of course, that was also a little bit of a mistake. Um, what block is this? 204 and minus 82. 204 and minus 82. That would be this one. That's this one right here. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. So that's going to know that has to be something. All right. Cool. I'm not 100% sure. Actually, I know what this is going to be, and it should not be dirt. Cool. So I'll have to tunnel up there again. But. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pillar up there with some nice, uh, nice froggy goodness. All right, not going to need those now. Yeah. Okay, right. So water column's going to be there. Yeah. Right, so we're totally not going to need any of these end rods because it's going to be bright as heck out here. All right, so we'll just go this way first. All right, so time to undo all that I just did, but it's okay. The bottom of the snowman might be down there. Yeah, that's that's how that works. <sighs> you know, it's, it's totally happy up there, right? I suppose I could put a snowman down there. Be fine, right? All right, so actually, let's uh. Leave that open for a minute. 
All right, and now we need another block water here. All right, so this comes out this way. Yeah, that would be kind of silly, I suppose, to put a, <laughs> a snowman there. I'm not opposed to a little bit of silliness and such. All right. Cool. So now this is going to come that way. Awesome. So now I need to do a couple of things like these. So actually these are probably going to have to come up a bit more. Now, how far exactly this is going to have to come up, I'm not entirely sure, but now, I do like the idea of this, of coming up this way into some, some building up here, right? I think having an entrance, maybe not the main entrance, or maybe the main entrance, I don't know. But having an entrance up here into the building here is going to be awesome. Now, here's where things get a little bit funky. So I am going to have to... Right, so this is going to have to be uh, stuff. Let's see. Yeah. All right, redstone chest where I keep soul sand because soul sand is absolutely a building block. You know, that, that's just how that works. Oh, actually, you know what? I have ice. Ice will work better. All right, so soul sand's gonna go there. And now, oh, I want to, uh, stack jump on honey blocks, but that is not how this is going to work. Because it turns out you can't really jump on honey. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little too sticky for that. Oh, well. Okay, so... Right. Um... I'm doing this 100% wrong, just just so you're all aware. Um, however I'm supposed to be doing this, this is not it. Do I have... Wow, not nearly enough bamboo. Okay, well, dirt it is. Just... Uh, no, this will be fine. I've, I have to... Right, that's, so that's there. Cool. But this has to go up this way. No, this is, this is going to make all sorts of sense when I'm done. What I don't know. Okay, so I've got the light there. I may, hmm. I may want to come back and put some light underneath or behind all of the honey, which I can totally do. It's just, uh, and actually that'll be not even that hard. Just, like so many things so far, just annoying. Okay, that's gotta be there. Honey is such a kind of squishy sound, isn't it? Porch. Okay. So that's going to go there and there. Cool. So water column goes up there. So take this down. Now, because I wasn't counting, this is Y75. Up top here, this is 95. And I only have. 15 ice because of, you know, planning and stuff. That, so let's, let's 
Let's get a little bit more ice. And by planning, I mean I did absolutely no planning. There, there is zero planning that happened here. This must be just outside of whatever it was. Okay, which is fine, I guess. Whatever the uh, distance is that governs how, when, and how ice forms. It must have been. Ouch. Ooh, that was um. It was more painful than it had any right to be. I mean, sure, I smashed my face into many objects. Um, I think a tree and some uh, some other hard, painful, less goodness. You know, it was it was maybe not the greatest thing of all time. <laughs> You can kind of understand why the the pain was happening, I guess. All right, so let's go finish. Uh, let's go get this ice in place here. All right, so somewhere you'd think this would be easy to find, wouldn't you? You'd be wrong, though. Okay. It's a little dark and scary in there, but okay, fine, fine. Fine. All right, where is it? Oh, behind me a little ways. Okay, cool. You know, it's one of those things you just can't see the elev- Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Just couldn't see the elevator for the trees, right? Really? Okay. Good. Totally fine. Perfect. Ow. Okay. That's fine. I don't need those knees. I thought I might need knees, but it turns out they're overrated and... Yeah, totally unnecessary. Oh, wait. oh, darn it. I should go get another pickaxe. Oh, honestly, they're right there by the light. This should uh, melt on its own, really. Yeah, I don't have my fortune pickaxe on me. I only have my silk touch, so. This is going to be a little. A little bit time consuming. Okay, getting there. Do I get there before I can't breathe? That is the big question we've got today. Close. Getting close. Whoosh, there we go. All right. Perfect. Who says you need to be able to breathe? Okay. Cool. I need a snow bucket, which I don't have inventory space for, even if I had one. That's fine. We'll just splorch our way down here. And yeah, I think I do want to get back behind there and load up some of that stuff with something else. And I'm going to need to uh, fill in some ceiling and stuff here too, but that's okay. We got, we got all of this. Okay. Um, let's drop off those frog lights will drop off some grass and some podzel. I don't know, some iron. I'm probably done with the iron. It's black snow. I'm gonna have to go make some more scaffolding though. It's okay, but not entirely what I had in mind, but 
it's fine. Okay, so... Oh, heck, I've got a bucket right there. Perfect. Let's meander over here to my ad hoc powdered snow farm. All right, here we go. I say that having lost my powdered snow farm. Here we go. All right, where is my bucket? There it is. So, here we go. Turns out powdered snow farms, not fast, but it kind of works. I've been able to get what I needed to. I had to, uh, do a little work to get enough to finish out my frog light farm, but it was wasn't too bad. You know what? I've got rockets. I could walk that, but rockets. I'm a rocket man. All right, so this is gonna come out right there. I'm gonna put some powdered snow right there, and. Let's see, do I have, I don't know that I have any carpet, so, I do now. Okay. Perfect, so now, pop right up in there, and out we go. Cool, so now what I'm going to do is come down this way, grab my verdant frog lights because they are right and shape. Okay. And I think that's going to look fine behind the honey. Right. But you come down here and that's, yeah, see that's looking a little bit better. It's got a little bit of a green tint. In the corner it's gold. Which is fine. Um, I could, I suppose, replace the uh, ochre frog lights with uh, the verdant ones, but I think we'll be okay. You know, I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be totally fine. So we'll go with that. All right. Sure. Oh. <gasps> That's an interesting idea. I don't know if I want to do it, but I actually put honey blocks down here. And then I could have elevator on both sides. I have no reason to go down this side, but it's a possibility, I suppose. Nice. Cool, so now let's um, figure this mess out. So that's going to go there. All right, so let's... Yeah, let's go get some more bamboo so I can craft up some... Uh, okay. okay. So I can craft up some more scaffolding. But we should be reasonably okay. Oh, yeah. I, I know I have some. Where did I put it? It's, uh, it's back in here. Yeah. Nice to see the bamboo farm is full again, so... So we got that going for me. Yep. Soon I will have an improved super smelter, but that one works until I burn through all the fuel and then it takes forever to uh, recharge. But it still works, right? Okay, so I have in this... No, this handy box, some string. Actually, grab the smaller stack of string. All right. And I think that will do it. 
it. I hope that will do it. Even if I use a little bit to get up there and get to stuff. Let's see. So that's going to come out. Now oh, this up here should come out too. Ow. Guess who's really bad at stuff? That would be me. Yep. Okay, so this is all going to come. Okay. Okay, again, with the bad at stuff, but it's okay. We'll get it all sorted out. So this is all going to come out Just carefully so I don't take out the honey. All right, so now let's... I'm gonna hop up this way. So should actually replace those with blackstone. And this is the wrong way to do this probably, but I'm gonna do it this way anyway. All right, so this is gonna come like this. Yeah, I can just fill that. Doesn't really matter, but all right. So now we can take the scaffolding. We could take the scaffold. I was gonna say, I I know I can put scaffolding there. Don't you tell me I can't. All right. All right, we got this. I just have to target the, the ceiling to get the scaffolding in because it won't won't attach any other way. All right, nice. Yeah. Oh man, that is. Ooh, dark. That is what that is. That is dark. Alright. Let's get some sleep and then we'll see what I can do about the rest. But I think I am gonna replace that those ochre frog lights behind the honey with um the verdant one. It's you know, green. Green is good. Helps if you have some uh, frog lights that you're gonna place on your person, you know, in your hot little inventory, right? Sure. All right. Cool. I was like, I could go walk. That turns out rockets and carrots, not the same thing. Rockets don't near have nearly the nutritional value that carrots do. All right, this is going to get messy. But kind of wish uh, I kind of wish there was a a tool to uh dig up frog lights, but I don't think a hoe cleans them up either, so I'm gonna, it's it's okay, but I suppose I just have to s stick my head out here and be fine, but we're making progress, right? Sure we are. All right, so that's going to go there. And now. Up we go. All right. Wonderful. Okay, let's get all my air back. All right. <sighs> Flood this section of forest. It's fine. Nobody was living here anyway. All right. Now let's, oh, come on. Come on. Get down there.
Oh man, is anyone out there been watching Andor? That's been fun. It's been a epically slow burn, but I've really enjoyed it. So not the the uh, greatest, or, or well, that's not the right way to put it. Not the most action-packed Star Wars in existence, but yeah, I've been really invested. Right, really caught up in what, the, where the characters are gonna go and that type of thing. So, so yeah, that, that's been good. I've definitely enjoyed Andor. It's worth a watch if you're into uh, spy dramas or Star Wars or both. Okay, I have to probably do something with the rest of that, but. Yeah, the green looks a little bit better. Just, you can't see it much, but just having a little bit of that green um, helps with the rest of this, so. Sweet. So, if we go. And then, down we go. Wonderful. Wonderful, okay. All right, well that works. That totally works. So now, I think I can pack all this stuff up. All right? So uh, All right. So back goes there. Did I Oh, so, nope. I did not pick up the stone cutter. That was not going in there. one of these I guess I don't have saplings in one of those fine totally we'll make do all right so I don't need my sword now either all right tools redstone All right, that's everything. That is everything. Sweet. Sweet. Uh, I, I kind of wish I could do a little bit more here to make the honey a little bit yes, less yellow. But honestly, it's not bad given the uh, stuff. Ooh, actually, if I, I could... Oh, this this might be good. Um, do I have any more iron bars? I don't, but I do have iron there, and I do have. Okay, I have a crafting table. Because you gotta have a thousand crafting tables. Um. Okay, iron bars. Yeah, let's go ahead and just, okay, we'll take this one. Oops, well, just try very hard not to take out the honey. Um, actually, I don't know that I like this corner. I do like the, um, I do kind of like the, the, the look of having this uh, come down this way, though. I mean, you still fit inside, right? You still come in, take the bubble vader to the top, and you can still drop down and be fine. Yeah, that's that's the touch it needed. Okay. Yep. Oh, right. Okay. Fine. You got this. Okay, we'll just juggle some stuff. There we go. Okay. Okay, cool. Oh, I I I like it. I like it. That gives us a nice Yeah, it definitely it breaks up the yellow a little bit, which is good. 
blends also with the styling with the uh, ochre frog lights behind the iron bars here in each of these modules. And it gives sort of a nice containment like, yes, this is absolutely intended as a, you know, you're not going to walk into it accidentally. You have to want to walk into it. And then up you go. And then, of course, the carpet over the powdered snow breaks your fall, so you don't break your knees. It sounds like it, but you don't, so that's fine. All right. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, something here. Now, let's put these shulker boxes up here on the wall. Because who doesn't like a shulker monster? Uh, that would be pearlescent moon for one. Uh, not a fan of the shulker monsters, but she's not here, and uh, I'll deal with cleaning lady services later. You know, but all right. Do I have there? Ah, perfect. So, mud bricks, and I'll need buttons of some sort. Dark oak actually might be the right choice. But I'll play with that in a little bit. So, redstone box is coming with me. Awesome. So, the way I want to do this is, let's take the redstone box. And... We'll grab some sticky pistons here. All right. And they're going to go there and there. All right. That'll go that way. And then I've got... Let's see. Do I need to... I might have to do it this way. So let's grab the redstone dust. Oh, right. I'd have to... Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Heard Andor's the best Star Wars show. Yeah, it is... It's really good. It is... I've been very happy with it. Um, whether it's the best or not is really a subjective thing, but... Yeah, yeah. I've... Really, really enjoyed it. Okay. Need to gate this. Okay. Actually, it's interesting. Um, cause, cause, yeah, it's been... Oh, it has been so good, though. Oh not going to toggle that. Okay. It'll toggle it from the other side, I think. Right? That would be... Let's sleep first. Yeah, I mean, Andor is definitely... said it's not the... It, it doesn't target 12-year-olds like Star Wars typically does. Now, I don't typically think that's a bad thing. I happen to... Uh, you know, like Star Wars, <laughs> right? But, all right, so that's going to go. That's does that thing. Okay, cool. All right, so now let's take the redstone torch here. All right, just make a quick side door. Yeah, and that, so that will open it that way. Cool. All right, and now I just need to... Uh, what I really need is something here. Uh, but yeah, for those people who don't like the fact that Star Wars is sort of a, a kid's show for anything, oh yeah, Andor is totally rocking their world. Let's try it. Okay. 
I am running out of room here just a touch. Okay, that opens, but man, that's really far away. Okay, but that's fine. We'll, we'll do this. Okay, so I need some redstone dust here. Right, and then if I were to have a... Right, it's not going to light that. You know, every once in a while, it's like, I I do something with redstone. It's like, this really should work. It doesn't, but it really should, you know? Okay, so that's going to go this way. So again, this, this button over here. And that was odd. Huh. Okay. That was that was really strange. Okay. Okay, so now they both go. Wow. That's uh that's a special breed of circuit right there. Because the button should trigger. And that should, oh, right, I see, because that redstone. Yeah, okay. All right, I think if I do it this way, it's going to break. Yeah, all right. This should be easy, right? The, the totally should be easy. It's not, but it should be. <laughs> all right, so... I may just do something else. There isn't a lot of room here to, to build out lots of redstone -y goodness. So that, I may change that. Well, the other option, I can't, could just put a lever on it, right? Which would, oops, man, my aim is horrible. You know, so I could just come in here like this and then turn the lever on. And that will close it. Um, I can't do anything about it from this side. Actually, I guess I can because that'll, that'll close it. I can't open it from this side, but it totally does. Um, huh. Uh-huh. Okay. I suppose... Because really all I need to do is... I just need to get a charge over to these. Oh, I should know better than to do redstone on camera. I really should. I mean, I guess I could dig underneath and build a double piston extender, right? But... I don't know that I want to do that. <laughs> this, it would actually make sense, though. It would take up a lot of this room, though, and just like this does, and it would be a real pain, just like, okay. Um, all right, so how do I... Right, so right now the door is closed. If I come in, right... Got to open the door. Now, what I could do, let's say I do this, and let's, do I have another lever in there? I do not. But, right, so if I want to close this, let's see. Do I have cobblestone? Oh, yes, I do. Perfect. Lever number two. Right, this is super cheesy, but it does work. Right, because I could. 
then close the door from this side, open it, close it from that side, right? So there it is, open, close, and that is super tight. So let's do it this way. Okay. Because that'll close it. Actually, really the only thing I need is the... Uh, I think I could just put this there and it will close. I don't even need these blocks. Right? Cool. Then I can open it, close it here, and I'm done. Sure. Heck, I might even be able to just... Because this is a little bit high. What if I were to put this... No. Oh. Sad switch is sad. Okay. But now it's closed. No one's coming in. Now I can open it. Close the door. And... Wonderful. It looks ugly. It is. Let, let's not beat about the bush. This is ugly. That's just not a pretty thing, but it does the job. So for now, I'm going to leave it. If I decide to work up something more, more complicated, I might. But for now, we'll, we'll go with it, I guess. Eh. All right. Anyway, that stuff. Oops, not buttons, I guess, can go in there too, but fine. All right. At least now the door closes and I can do with all that. Wonderful. All right. So now let's see. Let's clean out all the garbage I've got in my inventory because, yeah. Oh, I had honey. Cool. <laughs> I guess that's definitely a thing. All right. So, I should probably leave a bed in here, you know? Okay. Yeah, you like Rogue One? Yes, it's gonna, it has a very similar feel. Um, if anything, it's actually, it's a slower burn than Rogue One, uh, and I don't want to say it has a more serious tone, but it's definitely, uh, definitely has those same vibes. So if you liked Rogue One, you're almost certainly going to like Andor. Since it's a, uh, oh, well, I can't pick up that torch, so I guess it's going to, to despawn. All right, nice. So, go ahead, open the door, close the door, and um, okay, I'm just gonna put that back in there. All right, yeah. So, I said it's a, Andor said it's a really slow burn. Uh, but the first three episodes, the first one, it's like, it's, it's a walkie talkie, right? They just sit and walk and they talk and you get to know people and not a lot of action. Second one, there's some tension that builds up again, no real action, just a lot of tension being built. And then the third one, all heck breaks loose and it's great. So yep. Highly recommend, um, all right, so that's all going to go in there. Yeah, if you're a fan of, of that type of, of show, those, uh, uh, then this is definitely going to be the be a good show for you. All right, I really... I just made a mess of those boxes. I'll let the sorting system sort it out because that's what a sorting system does. All right, cool. So, 
Awesome. So where am I at time-wise? I've got plenty of time. What I should do is I should move my beacon because I'm going to need it a little bit closer here. So, okay. Let's uh, lock myself out. Iron door is still the bane of my existence and I'm never good at that. Oh, yeah, no, it's it's good. That third episode, when everything just sort of... Uh, it's, it's, it all st starts to... Res I'm not going to say resolve that storyline, but all of the tension that been, had been building for the previous... Uh, three episodes... Or the previous two episodes. All comes, comes out, and man, it is... It is great. And then the, uh, yeah, and then these last, or this last episode, or last two episodes, I, I guess it starts a little bit of a new story arc, uh, and it's been good. Again, same sort of premise, um, walk and talk, and, you know, character development, more character development, and. Uh, breakfast cereal and character development. You know, it's it's really good. So, yeah. Again, it's, if if you were into Rogue One, this is uh, Andor is definitely the episode for you, and or the the series for you. And what's really cool too is if you're a if you're a Star Wars nut like I am. Um, it's great seeing some of the uh, seeing some of the uh, oh some of the life on Coruscant because you catch up with Mon Mothma. She's one of the main characters, and in the original novelization of Star Wars, it talks about her being the the mother of the rebellion, really. And you see her briefly in Return of the Jedi. She's the one who tells you that many Bothans died to bring us this information, right? And she's in the background of a lot of stuff. You see her in... Uh... Oh, I think the prequels, she was in the background. You see her in Clone Wars, um, Clone Wars animated series. Uh, she shows up in uh, the Rebels animated series. But it's really cool to see her actually in live action and being a senator and dealing with uh, just life on Coruscant under the Empire. So, yeah. Fun and exciting stuff. All right. Cool, so I need to move my beacon. I'm going to have to put it... Let's see, where is this going? So it's going to be... So I'm going to be tunneling from over here, where I've got... This is the output for the moss farm. And this is going to come down underground over that way. So probably where I'm going to have to put this beacon in order to get most of what I need is down there. All right. Well, that's going to be a little bit of a pain, but all right. And it's actually, it won't be too bad if I have to mine that a little bit without a beacon. Because, you know, an Efficiency 5 pickaxe is still pretty good at what it does. So, let's... Okay, I'm going to drown, but... Yeah, this should be fine. So, let's come in with the beacon and... Oh, fun little tunnels and stuff. Okay, cool. Let's, um... All right, let's just put this here. Come on. Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, four. Breath. Okay. Two, three, four. I really should find a or uh, breed some turtles so I can start uh, maybe get a uh, turtle shell helmet, you know? That thing is... I got really used to the uh, water breathing effect that it gave me when I was on Roguecraft. That was... Uh, that was really nice. Air. Oh, it's one of the advantages. Of... Oh, yeah, they're totally turtles in this game. Yep. You can... Uh... They're actually super useful. Uh, they're eggs, not the turtles uh, so much. But, yeah, it around the shores of warm oceans and stuff, <laughs> you feel old. I get it. Around the shores of, of o warm oceans, um, you'll find turtles. And they lay eggs, which is nice. Yeah, yeah, I get it, man. Well, they've, they've definitely been a lot of changes over the years, especially recently. They've had some good stuff. But yeah, the turtles will... You breed them with seagrass. And then the little ones, when they, when they grow up, um, they lose their, like, their baby shell. Oh, I forgot to bring tribute. All right. Go get something. Yeah, they lose their baby shells, and you can collect a bunch of those and use them to craft a helmet, which gives water breathing and... I want to say one other effect, but I forgot what it was. So, so yeah, so that's really cool. And, of course, you know, I don't remember how recent these are. They came out not too long ago. Um, oh, yeah, I need iron. I suppose I could use gold, too. doesn't matter. I have... I have farm enough for both of those things. One of the things they've added um, was the ability to farm shulkers. So now um, you can basically have an infinite number of shulker boxes. All you have to do is harvest the wood. So that's super convenient. Okay. Paste two. Go. Alright. So nice. So the next thing I need to do is figure out where I need to get that output pipe to connect to. Uh, but what one of the things that's really cool about uh, about turtles, I said I found their their eggs are really one of the most useful things, because um, well, here let me show you. Let's just hop up here into the Nether. They've also increased the height limit, the, the world height and world depth limits are are new, a little higher, but. Let's see which way. Mangrove. Yeah, this way. So, make sure I don't lose my uh, trail over there. Hey, what's it? Shagan? I hope I've pronounced that right. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a fabulous day. All right, so up here's my gold farm. And. You can use the turtle shells, all the zombie critters, whether it's the zombie piglins or regular zombies, try to stomp on eggs. So you can use the eggs as bait and it 
in this case, they just drop down and I get all the nuggets I could ever want. So, so yeah, turtles, awesome stuff. Look at him go. All right. Let's get back into the overworld and figure out where I'm going to... Where I need to get all of this stuff. Because it's... Fine. Yeah, because the idea is I'm going to be connecting my moss farm... Um, basically to a... To a zillion and a half uh, composters. So that I can use them to basically power bamboo farms connected to furnaces for a new smelter array. So, so that's going to be fun and exciting. And I think what I want to do, see, where am I up here? This is Y63. Okay. What I was thinking I might do is. Uh, Okay. Something was cranky up there. Is build it down here. There's an axle on it. Uh, build it down here in this uh, lush cave. Right? So I've got plenty of room to stack up bamboo, or chest for bamboo. Um, so I've, I have a good backlog of all of that. And then, as you saw, this was really close to my to my storage system. So what I can do is I could actually take the output, which would be over here somewhere, and I am out of range of the haste beacon, probably too deep, which is fine. Because it only goes down about 50 blocks, and I'm... Probably well under that. But anyway, so I could bring the... Basically bring a bubble column down here. So I could dump all of the output of the furnaces. Just there, so I can pump it all up into my storage system if I want. So... That'll be helpful, I think. So I just need to figure out where I want it all to drop down and all that good stuff, so. All right, so let's see now. Of course, if I put that beacon too far away, this is gonna be annoying, I'm gonna move the beacon. So, basically, I want the outputs, I guess I can have it come out here. Where is that beacon? Yep. Yeah, it's too far. Jeez, monkeys, I'm going to have to move it over that way. All right, I'll go. I have plenty of stacks of iron blocks, though, so this is going to be... I'll build the new base, and then I'll just move the beacon over. Man. <sighs> this is what I get for uh, not planning this thing, right? That's not where I want to go. Okay. All right, so. Actually, do I still have? I do. That should work out just fine. Where am I at, iron-wise? Yeah, it looks like it's starting to fill up this column. So, I am going to have to start uh, condensing my iron again. Oh, it's not a big deal. It's just annoying. Take some time. All right. So, I guess I better yet, let's go sleep in this bed. All right. So, let's figure out where I need to be. So, I'm just going to free cam over here real quick. So, this is what? 150 and 50. Close enough. All right, which means this guy is going to have to be 
right so 150 and 50 is maybe over here so yeah i'm gonna have to move the beacon over this way which is okay So 150 and 50, so 50 is this way. So it can be, yeah, it really should just move. It's gonna be 100, so yeah, okay. I think I can make this work over here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so 150 and 50. Cool. Yeah, because I think the sorting system actually ends up over here. So, all right. Yeah, plan ahead, people. That's, that makes everything work better. Let's just do this. Let's take this sand out. All right. Yep. Talk about things they've added, right? They've got mountain goats now. Which are nothing more than annoying, <laughs> but, uh, you know, still fun. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. One, two, four. All right. And one, two. All right, so we'll just build a new base over here. And I forgot to get a tribute. That's okay. I'm going to have some leftover iron, so it should be fine. Yep, because it turns out iron is super cheap. <laughs> I mean, I could start building them out of emeralds if I w really wanted to grind it, I suppose. They don't have sharks yet, uh, which is probably a good thing. They do have drowned, though. So... It's drowned are zombies that live underwater. And they will they will definitely want to eat your face. Some of them are even polite enough to use a fork. Uh, they'll chuck tridents at you, which is less fun than it sounds, to be honest. But you can do cool things with tridents too, so... Sometimes farming uh, drowned for tridents is cool. Also, drowns, if you kill them by hand, if it's a player kill, um, they'll drop copper, which you can then use to make all sorts of cool blocks. Yeah, copper blocks. <laughs> but copper is a cool color. And then um, lightning rods and stuff, which you can do some mildly interesting things with. All right, let's go clean this beacon up. So yeah, dealing with drowned is not the greatest fun in the world, but eh, they're all right. The problem is they tend to really, uh, they really like living in rivers. And I, my home is right next to a river, which is slightly annoying. Almost as annoying as whoever decided to build this uh, beacon underwater. That just makes, made all sorts of sense. No, honestly, it made sense, but man. All right. But yeah, I think this is, I think it's going to be good trying to get, um, once I get the, uh, once I get the pipeline from the moss farm over there going, it's going to come right down under the river and over that way. So should be fairly easy. Just need to be sure I get deep enough to get to stay under the river.
And I should uh, pipe some or store some of the output in chests. Not the bone meal, which yeah, will get stored, yes, but it will also get used. Um, but I want to, I definitely am going to want to store the moss. I don't tend to use a lot of it as moss, but like with the, that project over there with the tunnel, you can use moss blocks, combine them with, uh, your stone brick and stuff and get all of the mossy stone and mossy cobblestone things. So that's a lot more convenient than trying to farm vines. Oh man, vines are just not worth the effort. But uh, the moss, since you can just farm it, it works beautifully. Yep, they actually have a mob vote coming up um, the 14th, I think, where Mojang is asking for the community to vote on the next um, the next mob to add to the game. And there are three. Right, One is, they call it the Sniffer. And you find its eggs underwater, I guess. And then what you do is, I guess they will dig up, they call them ancient seeds in the video. And you get some custom plants of some sort. They haven't, I don't know if they even know what those custom plants are yet. So you got those, you've got a, what do they call it, a rascal which you'll find down in the deep dark, or not the deep dark, but in the uh, deeper places of the world, areas underneath Y0. And I guess they like to play hide and seek is the, the lore behind them. So if you find them, find one three times, it uh, it will give you a prize of some sort. They're... The video showed him throwing an enchanted iron pickaxe, which is, in and of itself, is kind of garbage. At least once you get past the very, very early game. But maybe they'll be throwing some really interesting stuff, too. So, if they throw high, highly enchanted diamond tools or something, that could be really cool. But we'll see. They haven't they haven't announced fully what they do, and heck, they I'm not sure they totally know themselves exactly what the rascal does, so. So there's that. And then the last one they just announced today that it's part of the mob vote is a tough golem golem, T U F F as in like the tough blocks that they have. And they will pick up an item and carry it to some place and or they'll sit still and just be sitting still i don't know it's um it's a little weird they still haven't really figured out how they work but to me they just seem like they're moving arm armor stands or moving uh uh display, you know, displays, um, item frames, but don't know, don't know, they'll, uh, they'll figure out some way of describing them, hopefully in time for the mob vote, which again is the 14th, so if you've got a, anyone who's got an account in the Minecraft launcher or at minecraft.net, I think it is, you can log in and vote for in that 24 hour block starting on the 14th so so yeah fun stuff i'm not sure i like any of them yeah rascal sounds interesting um 
Yeah, I, I could totally see hide and seek videos being a thing, but unless they actually drop stuff that's worthwhile, I don't know how interesting that actually is going to be, right? Um, if I had to pick one, right now I'm, I'm leaning none of the above, but if I had to pick one, I'd pick the sniffer, but I'm not super uh, thrilled with any of them really, so. So we'll see. Oh, I should look. This thing is. Uh, I love this uh, sorter. It's pretty awesome, but it is not the fastest system in the world. But it works. So it actually does doesn't do too bad when you have lots of items that it wants that it can pick up but I've seen some new ones that are a little faster but this one's built this is what I'm living with until I'm done with the world so <laughs> but that said um, I think I am going to call it for the night oh because it is about that time of night so let me go ahead jump over to the webcam Oh, man, y'all are awesome and amazing, by the way. Um, I'm so gra grateful to have y'all here. Um, you can, of course, follow me on all of the social medias over there, Twitter and TikTok, and surprisingly enough, YouTube. Who'd have thunk it? Um, <laughs> but yes, or join the Discord server, or follow on all of those places, and like, and subscribe, and do all of those things, uh, because it's awesome. Um, you can also support me over on Ko-fi at ko-fi.com slash musicfreegaming. Uh, so all that stuff is going to be fun and exciting. And yeah, the next stream is going to be Tuesday at 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. So hopefully I will see you there. I'll, I will I'll post a I'll post the next stream thing. Announce whatever the... The, the whatever the YouTube thing does where you set it up and it's coming soon and turn on for notifications, I'll do that. So it's been a while. I'm still, I'm relearning YouTube syntax and stuff. But yeah, don't forget to like the video and all that good stuff. And I will see you next time. And until then, be excellent to each other. This is Music Free Gaming signing off. <laughs>